Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Tom's Gadget Garage. Today we're going to be doing things a little bit differently in that we're going to be talking about a scooter that I neither own nor has actually been released yet. In fact, this scooter, the Zatori IO Plus, is currently available on Indiegogo, the crowdfunding site, uh, and has a tentative ship date of February of 2024, which believe it or not, is just around the corner. Ever since I got wind of this scooter about a month ago, I immediately was captivated. I jumped into the details and have been researching it ever since. And slowly but surely, that scooter has climbed to the top of my list of most anticipated commuter scooters for 2024. Now you might be wondering, why is this guy so excited about this scooter? Well, the answer is simple. It's got a host of standard features, a huge emphasis on design, and most importantly, has got some standard certifications, which unfortunately are not a standard in the industry. So I'm hoping that'll change sometime here in the near future. So without further delay, let's jump into the details. Now to start, the Zatori IO Plus is a dual motor electric commuter scooter. It's got a 400 watt motor in the front, it's got a 400 watt motor in the rear, and combined those put out a total of 1500 peak watts of power, as well as 34 newton meters of torque. So if you live in a hilly area, this scooter is probably going to do a decent job on hills. Now, of course, we're not going to know until we test it out, but right now we have the information uh, that the Zatori IO website provides us. The battery that powers those dual motors is a 36 volt, 20 amp hour, 720 watt hour lithium ion battery that'll charge from zero to 100% in approximately seven hours. Now, out of the box, this scooter will go 28 miles an hour with three driving modes. That's eco, comfy, and sport. Uh, scooter will go 45 miles of theoretical range. I say theoretical because range is heavily dependent on rider weight, whether or not you're driving on flat ground or not, uh, as well as some other environmental conditions. So the range that one person gets might be different than the range that another person gets, but on paper, they say it'll go up to 45 miles. The scooter does come with electronic brakes as well as a rear 140 millimeter rotor powered by Shimano disc brakes. The Zatori IO Plus does have a 1000 lumen headlight up front, an ambient light below the deck, as well as a brake light tail light combo at the rear. It also has turn signals built into the ends of the handlebars, which I love to see because there's a lot of scooters out there that put the side turn signals uh, on the actual frame of the scooter, which is really low to the ground, and that's not typically where people are looking when they're driving. So you wanna have something higher up. Of course, it's better to have something than nothing, but if I had a preference, it would be exactly where they put it on the ends of those handlebars. The scooter does come with 10-inch pneumatic tires, and it also has the ability to fold the stem down, which makes it much easier to carry around if you have to store it in the back of your car, carry it up a flight of stairs, store it in a closet, whatever it might be. Simply unlatch the stem, fold it down, locks in place, carry it wherever you need to take it. So all of those things that I just rambled off are pretty exciting features, but those are not what drew me in. The thing that drew me in, first and foremost, was the certifications that you get, specifically the UL certifications on this scooter. And you don't just get one, you get two. Now, the first level of certification that I wanna talk about is UL2271, which is a certification on the battery cells used in the Zatori IO Plus, which, may I add, are Samsung cells. These are Samsung 21700 cells, not the typical 18650s that you see in a lot of other scooters. The 21700s are a denser cell that have higher capacity. Now, the fact that the Zatori IO Plus comes standard with UL certified Samsung cells is huge because I can't tell you how many times I've seen other scooter manufacturers, scooter resellers online, basically try and give you a little drop down menu or they give you the option to upgrade to name brand cells. Oh, you want those kind of cells? Cool, that's gonna be three, $400 extra. Not with this scooter, quality comes standard. The second level of certification that you're gonna get with the Zatori IO Plus is UL2272, which is a certification on the electrical system of the scooter. So that's two levels of certification that you're getting with this brand new to market electric commuter scooter. The next thing that got me really excited about this scooter is the fact that the main frame is made of a single piece of magnesium alloy. And what does that mean? It means weight savings of 33%. It also means you don't have any of those unsightly welds and bolts that typically hold all these frames together. So the end result is a very clean and sleek looking electric scooter. 
Now with that being said, the other components on the scooter like the stem and handlebars are made of aircraft grade aluminum. The next thing that got me really excited about this scooter is the actual kick plate itself. It's got an open air design, which is really exciting because it means you now have a place to loop your lock through. So if you need to park this outside, lock it up for a bit, you can absolutely do that. Now I wouldn't recommend it. Scooters, e-bikes are really hot targets. Like people nowadays are running around with like uh, circular saws and stuff like that. It's absolutely crazy. So if you can avoid it, I would avoid locking these things up. But if you have to, I would absolutely invest in a heavy duty lock. The next thing that caught my eye with this scooter is its horizontally mounted suspension system. What does that mean? Well, basically the oil filled damper and the coil spring with 10 levels of adjustment uh, is actually mounted horizontally in the scooter. And there's some benefits to this. They call it the wave tech system, but apparently it allows you to reduce weight uh, and basically deliver a more compact suspension system with some improvements in comfort. And of course, once we get the scooter, we will test all of that out compared to some other traditional suspension scooters. Now, the final thing that I wanna talk about, which is immediately recognizable on this scooter, is its handlebar setup. Now, a lot of scooters out there have the typical, you know, round, cylindrical, bicycle style handlebars, which you grip on for dear life, especially when you're riding a, a high power scooter. With the Zatori IO Plus, they actually have a teardrop or airfoil uh, shape to the handlebars, which allows you to rest your palms on the top of the handlebars and comfortably grip the handlebar. And within those aluminum handlebars, you actually have a built-in display. Now, this is not your typical display at the center of the scooter or something that's you know, a projectile sticking out in front of you. This is actually built into the surface uh, of the handlebar and it actually uses a dot matrix system. So it uses little LED lights that light up to present information like your speed, tell you hello when you turn it on, all that fun stuff, uh, which is really different because we typically see traditional displays on scooters but one common complaint that I see with a variety of scooters out there is, oh, you can't see it in direct sunlight. Well, if you can't see it, what's the use, right? Or if you put on like polarized lenses, you might not see the screen, that's a problem. So this dot matrix display is a really novel idea and I'm really excited to see how that works out in the real world. Now, if you're somebody who likes to attach your phone or get some additional stats while you're riding, great. The scooter actually has a phone adapter so that you can actually mount that phone directly on the top center of uh, the scooter stem and with Bluetooth you can connect to their app and get all kinds of real-time stats and fun stuff like that. So if you like that, you have that option. Some people like to you know, use external mounts and have their phone up and angled towards them. If you wanna do that, you can absolutely do that. I would just recommend getting like a clamp style phone adapter. Another thing that you're gonna notice on the Zatori IO Plus's handlebars is how they've done a really good job at seamlessly integrating your turn signals, your headlight button, power button, as well as the throttle. Uh, this is probably the most unique looking throttle uh, that I have seen on any scooter. You know, most of the scooters that I've seen have these cylindrical objects, you know, for your thumb throttle, and it's kind of this bulky thing that's there, or the trigger throttles, which basically project out of the top uh, of the scooter at a 45 degree angle and you pull on this. This actually has a throttle that's built into the lines of the handlebar uh, so you can gently press on that. I've never used a throttle like that before. In fact, I've never seen a throttle uh, implemented that way. So it'll be really interesting to see how that works out in practice. All right, so those are the reasons why I am so excited about the Zatori IO Plus electric scooter. It's got a whole host of standard features, is beautifully designed. Like, I mean, you can actually tell that they spent a lot of time thinking through every detail of this scooter. And finally, it's got two levels of UL certification. Not one, but two levels. And unfortunately, that's not the standard in the e-bike and electric scooter industry. Uh, you see a lot of the devices that don't have those levels of UL certification. And there are a lot of companies that try and upcharge you on higher quality battery cells, which I think should be standard across the board. If you'd like to learn more about this scooter, you can go to Zatori's website at zatori.io. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to this channel because I'll be doing follow-up videos as soon as we're able to get our hands on that scooter. We'll take a look at the range, we'll take a look at the top speed, the hill climb tests. We'll do all the real world tests and we'll put that together uh, in a quick, easy to follow video that goes over all the details you could possibly want to know about this scooter. As always, thank you so much for tuning into Tom's Gadget Garage. We'll see you next time.